Welcome to One Hash Tutorials. In this video, we will learn how to customize the form. In One Hash, customizing your form is simple and straightforward. You can edit each and every form if you want to change the name of a field or add, remove fields from the doc type. You can also modify the layout to suit your needs. To begin, go to Customize Form. Choose the form you wish to change from the drop-down menu. Take, for instance, the Select Lead. When you choose a form, all of the fields in that form will become visible. These many sorts of fields will be available in this comprehensive list, with broad field types that may be picked as needed. When you click Edit, you will be sent to a comprehensive form with all of the information you need for that field. These fields can be made mandatory if necessary. You can label that field as having unique values if that is what you require. This field will be shown as a list if you select the List View option. When we click on the standard filter, it will display all of the filters that are present in the List View. If we click on Preview, then on the click of any link this. If you choose Bold, it will appear bold on the list. If you check this option, this form will be shown on the Quick Entry form. If you wish to hide this field from the form, you may specify the conditions under which it should be shown. You may mark this field as hidden by checking the box. You can click on this box if you'd want to make it read-only. You can provide the condition here if you want this choice to be mandatory under specific circumstances. You can also specify whether or not this field is read only under specified circumstances. Just below the field is a description. It gives more information about the field property. Click this option if you want this description to display in print format. You can also define the width of this field if you want it to be particular. So, let's say you want to add a new field to the existing form. If you go to the current lead form, you will see that there is no field for lead temperature. The temperature of lead can be set to one of three levels, low, medium, or high. You may move directly to the customization by clicking on the three dots and then selecting Customize Form. The temperature can be added below any desired field. Let's say you want to put it below the email address. Then you'll select the option to enter it below. Select the label from the drop-down menu. Under the Options box, you may enter the options that need to be included in the type. It can be made required or displayed in a list view, depending on the user's desire. To save all of these changes, click Update. Custom fields will be highlighted after the upgrade. Reload the page to see the changes. A new field for lead temperature has been added. Select from the alternatives already inserted and save. New options can be added, such as a new campaign straight from the campaign name. At times you may require to fill in some data from other documents. To do so, we can add the link field into the form. Click on Customize, edit the desired form. Insert below, go to link in the type drop-down. Set the label as Sales Partner. In the Options box, you need to define the document name from where the fields need to be fetched. To do this multiple times, keep adding Insert below. For adding decimal value, we need to select Float and Type Commission Rate. Select Read Only as default value. In the Fetch from box, specify the source. Update. On selecting the sales partner, the commission rate will automatically be picked. In a similar way, we can set different fields according to the requirement. The complete layout of the form can be changed with the help of rows and columns. Column breaks and section breaks can be added according to the need, and our own form layout can be prepared. To know in detail, you can refer to help documentation and search for customized form. Here you can see all the different types of fields present in custom fields. Thank you.